today we're going to be talking about what to say or not say to a trans person. All right, so like I always do, speak from personal experience. I guess I can talk about some of the times that I've felt awkward or um, boundaries stepped over or anything like that. Or, and on the flip side of it, positive things that people have said and, and that sort of thing. Number one on my list would probably be outing someone that is trans. Now, it's not your privilege to out someone without their permission, for one. And two, it really is no one else's business but that person's. Um, I think that if it were any other private issue, that it would be dealt with professionally and discreetly. Uh, but a lot of people don't think that, I guess, because, I don't know, people see transgenderism as sort of a taboo topic and something that isn't quite jiving with the, um, the beliefs, of, beliefs of society, I guess you could say. Just, it's just not anyone else's business but that person's. And you really have no right to put that out there because you could potentially harm the person in question. You know, it could, that information could fall into the hands of the wrong people. They could take out issues of theirs on that person. They could get physically injured. People get killed. It's not something that should be just carelessly thrown around out there. And, you know, it's not really anyone else's business knowing that you were born a female and are now presenting as a male and living as a male. Like, it doesn't matter. It really does not matter at all. From personal experience, uh, my boss outed me to this co-worker of mine uh, when he was actually being hired. And he pretty much told the employee that this was my birth name and that I am transitioning and such and such. Information that that person didn't need to know. He was a new person coming into the organization and he would have had no idea. He would have called me Liam. He would have used he and whatever and it would have been fine. But then he was informed of all of this, and I didn't know at the beginning. Like, it's not that he said anything, really. He, you know, he was perfectly fine. He told me about this later, and he has accidentally used my birth name and sometimes messes up pronouns. And that's just something that was created that didn't have to happen. And that is a situation there that you know, that makes me feel awkward at times, like makes me feel stressed, dysphoric, and it's just, it's not something that should be something that you inflict on someone else. You know, you have to think about it in the perspective of the person. Um, you have to be empathetic to that. Another thing that you don't say to a trans person, don't ask about their body unless Perhaps you were their partner or someone who was very well trusted in that and that information was given out. But say, commenting on, you know, your genitalia, what does it look like, is it weird, like, that sort of thing. That is, that's crossing a line, to me, anyway. Um, or asking, say, um, is surgery necessary or do you have all your surgeries like are you actually a man like did you have bottom surgery like all that all those sorts of things like people a lot of people don't understand that um, there's not one clear-cut thing there's not one clear-cut trans guy like some people don't get surgeries done some people don't get hormones or don't go on hormones 
and that's okay. That doesn't make you less of a man. That doesn't make you less of what you identify as. But it shouldn't be so black and white to people, and I think that's where people get stuck. And I think people should be a little more aware of that. Don't ask what their name used to be before. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you're calling them what they wish to be called. And by you not calling them that, to me, is a sign of disrespect. Um, you know, if anyone else were asked to be called something like a nickname or whatever, and they, you know, wanted people to call them that, or wanted them to call them a different name that was still in the same gender or whatever, then that would be fine. But in some instances, it just... People just don't accept to call you the different name according to the gender that you identify with and uh, a lot of people don't realize, again, that's harmful to the trans person. I mean, like, it's the ultimate sign of disrespect respect for me. It just shows that you're not willing to accept the person, to allow them to be who they want to be and who they are. And uh, it's a big issue for me. Um, currently, my mom doesn't call me Liam and doesn't use the correct pronouns. And I know it's a long issue and I know it's something that parents deal with for a long time, but she knows and she like absolutely refuses, but she like, she tells me she accepts me and everything else, and but she just won't. And it's always that she's forgotten or whatever, and but she just never really like corrects herself once in a while, but not very often, so it's kind of discouraging. But anyway, all well in time. Things you can say, what would you like to be called? What pronouns would you like me to use? Uh, some people go by they, and that's fine too. No, no pronoun distinction, or just none at all. You could ask how they're feeling, how they're doing, because Sometimes uh, trans people, a lot of trans people are dealing with a lot of issues, a lot of mental health issues, a lot of, you know, psychological, emotional things. I know I'm going through a lot, and it would be nice for someone to sit down and, and hear me out and take away the whole issue of how they feel about my situation and just talk to me as a person and that I'm a person that thinks and feels the same way that they do. and. You know, I hurt the same that they hurt. Really just judge on the level of comfort you are with a person. If it's a stranger and you're asking all of these really intrusive questions, really private questions, that's very disrespectful. And, you know, saying things in front of people, that's very disrespectful. But if you come at it at a very uh, positive way, a way to just educate yourself rather than prying and like getting gossip and all those other things um, and being really intrusive. You just have to come at it at a very respective level. Just talk to the person one on one. If you need any other information, a lot of like private information, go online. You don't really have to like pry it into the back world of any trans person's past or anything like that. If you want to know something, you can go online and search it. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like I'm very heated today. So, uh, I do want to get some positive out there. It, it's a very rewarding experience. So, if you want to talk to, like I said, if you want to talk to a trans person, what to say? A trans person is just a person like you. Talk to them with respect. Give them their dignity. And that's all you need to do. And with that, I conclude my video. That is it for this week. I will sign off. Have a wonderful night. See you later.